Hi, I'm Carl with Dynagent, and today we're going to talk about clutch kits. I have Lawrence here, one of our engineers. So Lawrence, can you tell me, why do I need a clutch kit for my UTV? So you need a clutch kit for your UTV because the CVT system is designed to maintain a perfect RPM with the maximum power from your engine transmitted to the rear wheels. Okay, so say I have an XP1000, I, ride, I trail ride and it's about 8400 RPM everywhere I go, but then I decide to put a set of paddle tires and I take it out to the dunes, I notice my RPM drops to about 7800. I'm assuming getting a clutch kit for the car, I can bring that RPM right back to 8400 so I can keep it right in the perfect power band all the time. That's what mainly... Exactly. Is. So we provide the, let's call the tools in the kit that allow you to adjust your RPM accordingly for the amount of load that you've put on your car because of the terrain, which is sand, and two, the paddle tires, which causes more load. So you want to try and keep the optimum RPM all the time because that's where you're going to get the power that the engine is capable of transmitting all the way to the rear wheels. Okay, so this seems like it could be a pretty complicated kit. Is this straightforward installation or do I have to have a professional do it? Well, the kits do vary somewhat. Some are harder than others, but most of the time, you know, if you've got some kind of mechanical competence, if you take your time, read the instructions, which is a novel idea sometimes, and uh, you shouldn't have any problems. Okay, and overall, belt temperature seems to be a big issue with these cars. Um, does a clutch kit help with that? It does, because as your RPM increases, let's say you were to put uh, some kind of Dynojet electronic enhancement on your vehicle, your RPM will go up. It, you'll also uh, lose some of the grip on the belt. So by optimizing the RPM and um, spring rates, you will get the, the optimum clamping force on the belt. Okay, and overall, I mean, when I look at these clutch arms, it's hard for me to be able to tell the difference between us and our competitors, but can you tell me why is Dynojet better than somebody else in the market? Yeah, so here's a, an example of some clutch arms. The two on the left are competitors' arms, and you can see that the wear pattern across the arm is not even. So the arm is rubbing on, on the roller on each edge, and these are two Dynojet arms for the same clutch, and you can see that the wear pattern is all the way across, so we're utilizing the whole width of the roller, which allows the arms to wear way longer, and the rollers. Also, our clutches, uh, our clutch components, uh, for example, these arms, they're all machined in an ISO 9000 uh, shop, which is an aerospace shop. Uh, we don't have any kind of, uh, we don't save any money on, on uh, materials, they're all high, high carbon steel, and we use the best coating that we found over years of testing different coatings on the arms. All right, so overall, I mean, as we can see, we look at these arms, and you can see the wear patterns are pretty far off on these two versus the right. Dynagent ones. And I know, you know, for a fact that roller failure is, is pretty common in these vehicles, and then they just pretty much ruin your day. You're going to end up having to replace some more parts in your, in your clutches. So, Lawrence, can you tell me a little bit about these springs? Yeah, the springs that we use are high silicon uh, grade springs, very similar to valve springs in an engine. Uh, our spring engineer has basically made all the springs on any every Indy car that's won the Indy 500 since 1963. Um, our springs, for example, these two springs are the same spring, and you can see the height of the springs is basically the same. This one's brand new, and this is after four seasons of short course desert racing. So our springs are, are me measured in the millions of cycles, and most competitors' springs are measured in the hundreds of cycles. So that's huge because the spring is a huge component in the calibration um, equation of, uh, of the uh, CVT clutch kit. So yeah, when I look at this, I mean, I've seen springs come out of clutches to where they're, you know, they're completely sacked out. Oh, so yeah. Obviously, you put some time into making sure that these things work right. Can you give me a little bit of an idea of what you do for testing? 
Well, we do, obviously, being DinoJet, we do a lot of dyno testing. And there's certain things that we do that um, aren't normally done in normal dyno testing that we've developed over the last six years of, of dyno testing just for clutches. And then we do a lot of field testing um, and on various terrains, different altitudes, um, and, and different conditions. So, yeah, we try and cover all the bases. Okay. Well, obviously, you got a lot of years of experience doing this type of work. Can you give just everybody out there a little bit of an idea of how much experience Donajet might have? Well, you know, just in our R&D department, um, I'm just guessing, but there's well over 100 years of R&D testing. Practical application experience, not just engineers on paper. No, it's all, you know, on the dyno, out in the field. Pretty much everyone in R&D has been some kind of a racer of some kind. So we know about competition and being competitive. All right, well, you've heard it here. Um, for more information, or if you'd like to get one of our clutch kits, you can visit our website at dinojet.com.